Welcome to our lecture online. To get us some more familiarity with what a derivative is, let's do another example of another function. So here we have the function y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. It is a parabola. It has a minimum value here at x equals 2. It crosses the y-axis at x equals 4. You can find that easily by plugging those values in. When you let x equals 2, you get 4 minus 8 plus 4, which is 0. When you let x equals 0, you get y equals 4. So it's easy then to graph the parabola. But now we're trying to find the derivative of this function. In other words, the slope of this function. And right away, right away you realize, since it's not a straight line, it's not going to be a single number, the slope of the function, or the derivative function, is going to be another function. So we're going to define the, the slope of this function by another function called the derivative. And to find the derivative, we're going to use this particular definition. It is the limit, as delta x goes to zero, of the function evaluated x plus delta x minus the function evaluated x, divided by delta x. Again, the concept is we're going to take one point right here and we're going to say that the coordinates are going to be x for the x-coordinate and for the y-coordinate it's going to be the function evaluated x. Then we're going to pick another point right there and you're going to say well that's a little bit further away to the right so it's going to be x plus delta x and when we evaluate that function we're going to get f of x plus delta x and then the, the slope of that, which of course would be the secant line, can be found by simply saying, okay, I'm going to find the rise over the run. This here is going to be the rise, which is going to be equal to the difference of these two, the f of x plus delta x. In other words, the function evaluated at this value for x minus the function evaluated at this value for x and divide that by... Whoop, let me say that's the definition and here is of course the change that's called the run and it's going to be equal to simply the change in x and then of course by definition the slope is the ratio of the rise over the run right so we can say the slope by definition is equal to the rise divided by the run which is going to be equal to the function evaluated x plus delta x minus the function evaluated x divided by delta x now of course that's the slope between these two points but to find the slope over here at any point along the function we need to take the two points and bring them infinitely close together i'm going to allow the delta x go to zero so therefore the slope or the derivative can be defined by allowing delta x go to zero so in other words we take the limit as delta x goes to zero of that ratio which represents the rise divided by the run all right let's go ahead and do that now realizing our function is defined right here so the first thing we want to do is find f of x plus delta x. So let me do that on the side here so you see what we're doing. So f of x plus delta x is simply the function evaluated, replacing every x by x plus delta x and see what we get. So this will be the quantity x plus delta x, quantity squared, minus 4 times x plus delta x plus 4. So this is what we mean by the function evaluated x plus delta x. So, working this out, this is equal to x squared plus 2 times x times delta x plus delta x quantity squared minus 4 times x minus 4 times delta x plus 4. So this then becomes f of x plus delta x, and let's go ahead and write that over there. So this is equal to the limit as delta x goes to 0 of f of x plus delta x, which is this quantity right here, which is x squared, and let me put that in brackets, plus 2x delta x plus delta x quantity squared minus 4x minus 4 delta x and plus 4. So this is the function evaluated at f of x plus delta x minus the function evaluated x, which is simply the function again, so minus the function, so minus, we have x squared minus 4x plus 4, and the whole thing divided by delta x. All right, so what we're going to do now is get rid of these brackets and get rid of this negative sign. So this is equal to the limit, as delta x goes to 0, of x squared, plus 2x delta x plus the quantity delta x squared minus 4x minus 4 delta x let's see if I got that right here yep that's right plus 4 now minus x squared 
plus 4x and minus 4. Now realize here, oh, can't forget to divide by delta x. I got ahead of myself here. All right, now next, notice we have an x squared here and a minus x squared. So those cancel out. I have a minus 4x and a plus 4x, those cancel out. And I have a plus 4 and a minus 4, those cancel out. That's always the fun part of this method. Now let's see what we have left over. So we can say that the derivative is equal to the limit as delta x goes to 0 of, we have a 2x times a delta x plus delta x squared, and we have a minus 4 delta x, and the whole thing divided by delta x. All right, now you realize that I have a delta x in each of the terms in the numerator and I have a delta x in the denominator. I can divide the denominator into the numerator. When I do that, I get the limit. Oop. The limit as delta x goes to 0 of, so when I divide that in here, I simply get a 2x left. Here I get a plus delta x, and here when I divide that in there, I get a minus 4. Now I can see that there's no delta x in the denominator. I can now allow my delta x go to 0. So when I allow my delta x to go to 0, so this becomes equal to 2x minus 4. And of course, that was equal to the derivative. Remember, the derivative is equal to the slope of the function. Now I say again, in this case, we found a function in itself. The derivative is actually a function. What this requires me to do is this requires me to plug in a value for x to find the slope at that particular point on the function. For example, when x is equal to 0, the slope is negative 4. When x is equal to 1, the slope is negative 2. When, the, when x is equal to 2, the slope is 0. In other words, the derivative, when x is equal to 0, is equal to 2 times 0 minus 4, which is equal to minus 4. That means when x is equal to 0, the slope at that point on the, on the line, so that would be right here, Right? When x is equal to 0, the slope of this one would be in negative 4. So the derivative, when x is equal to 1, is equal to 2 times 1 minus 4, which is minus 2. So when x is equal to 1, which is right here, that means, whoa, I dropped my pen, sorry about that. All right, so when x is equal to 1 right here, the slope is equal to a negative 2. And finally, the derivative when x is equal to 0 is equal to 2 times oh no I don't want to go there I want to go x equals to 2 that would be 2 times 2 minus 4 which is 0 and you can see here that when x equals 2 the slope equals 0 so in other words the derivative is the slope of a function but if the function is not a linear function if it's a, like a nonlinear function then the derivative will be a function in itself and all we have to do then is plug in certain values for x to find the slope at that particular point on the function. And that's what we mean by a derivative.